Hey there Akuma fans, Charlie with the Gossiger application staff, got another tip for you. Today we're dealing with the P300L control on turning centers and this might be a twin turret, single spindle or a double spindle, double turret, just doesn't matter. Uh, I've had several phone calls in the last month of people observing that if they are rapid positioning a tool close to the material, occasionally they'll have an instance where the tool overruns and gouges the part at a really an opportune moment. So uh, I've made a quick demonstration of this. You can see it in my graphics. I'm just going to do it with a grooving tool and we'll run it normally just to show you. See how I start far away from the part? make a little fillet. After it makes the first groove, it rapids out to a secondary position, again nice and clear from the material, and then makes a fillet on the back side of the groove. And if this gap that you see right here, that clearance move, is far enough away from the material, hey, everything works fine. It also works fine if I turn down my rapid override or if I run it in single block. So I'm going to get into my program here and uh, make a, a little edit so you can see what I'm talking about. Here, right there on N111, is the rapid out of the groove and positioning, getting ready to position for the next uh, feed down to the, the Z move. I'm going to reduce that so that I wrap it very close to the material and um, Obviously, you're not going to be able to see it gouge because graphic works just fine, but now at least you'll see what I'm talking about. That move will be just fine, makes a fillet, then when it rapids up, see how it came very close to the material. Because the Akuma is such a high-speed machine, what can happen during that move, let's, uh, let's try it in single block so that I can uh, talk to you about it while it's uh, making its pass what can happen is that as the tool is being told to make a dog leg rapid move one in X and one in Z in its eager anticipation right there it's going to kind of blur that line it will start moving the Z before it moves the X and cause a little a little ding in the face of the part or in the uh, the face of that groove right there it can cause problems so here is the solution if you go into your parameter mode right here, the parameter key on your, your uh, machine control pad, normally you see the common variables come up first. Touch F8 display change and from this upper menu we want to scoot down until we see optional parameter other function. If you don't see the optional parameter other function, use your arrow right key one time to find the word menu change and make sure that all display is check marked. What that does is it screens out certain parameters that you don't necessarily want to see all the time. But I'm going to go and touch the optional parameter other function. Now I can close down the outer menu and about three quarters of the way down the, uh, the page, the whole list of these guys, I'm going to find the word rapid droop control. Right now it's set to no effect, so in essence what I'm doing is I'm giving the machine permission to reduce my cycle time by blurring corners a little bit when you're in rapid mode. Well, in this case, I don't want to have that occur, so I'm going to reach up and touch effect. Oh, I was running, so I got to hit reset. Touch the rapid droop control, menu, effect. Now that that is in play, when I do my uh, the, the exact same groove, now it is going to require that the machine precisely hits the X rapid and the Z rapid. And it'll even dwell for a microsecond in between those two. And so what's going to happen is that uh, now the, the muddling of the part is gone, taken care of. There are also some parameters that will control that amount of droop, but in general the factory sets those in a, in a satisfactory method, so I don't, uh, I don't advise going after the uh, modification of the rapid droop control. As a side note, I used a groove tool as an example. 
however it's not exclusive to lathe tools it might be a live tool it could be a uh, turning tool it could be anything that you're wrapping close to the part then it may cause a little bit of a blur sometimes your feature is doubled sometimes it uh, it just looks a little muddled but by turning on that rapid droop control uh, then you'll be just fine and I have found that it does not really affect your cycle time to any amount that uh, is detrimental so I would suggest for everybody out there to turn on the rapid droop control for your turning center and just leave it on you won't notice any difference but your parts will be much cleaner with less need for uh, clearance during rapid moves Hope this helps you out. If you need any additional assistance, please reach out to your local Gossiger application staff and we'll be happy to help you. Thanks.